This is Chris Warwick, Mayor of the Town of Hannah, and this is a summary of our regular council meeting held October 8, 2019. Uh, to open up the meeting, we had a really great report from Fern Thoreau, who is with the Hannah Elks Club. Uh, they have um, been donating up to over $5,000 this year uh, to communities, uh, to, to different groups in the, in the community. We really appreciate that. Over 560 hours donated uh, by their volunteerism. I really thank them for that. They indicated that this year they will also be paying for public skating to make sure that it's free for everybody in the community. For that, we really thank the Hannah Elks Club. Um, we had an update on the Communities in Bloom national competition. Uh, Hannah was uh, successful in having won five Blooms bronze in the, uh, the upper category because we were winners last year. So that's a little different competition. Uh, well done on that. Uh, Sergeant Spurley gave us uh, an update from the RCMP detachment. Um, he said that they're really focusing on personal theft, property theft, um, focusing on uh, some of the provincial traffic and also uh, some of the local stunting of the younger drivers that's going on in town. Uh, other, other than that though, he did say that our crime rates are very low in the region. That's, that's Hannah and the special areas in a reason, so that's great to hear. Uh, their presence is, is well, uh, well deserved. Uh, we also, in our business items, uh, we had an update from our fire chief, Fire Chief Mo, and he indicated that we're a little bit busier than uh, than normal on average uh, this year, but it's not as busy as it has been the last couple of years. Uh, he has applied for a little more funding to complete uh, some of the burn tower props that they that they want to have to have that uh, project completed. Uh, the Fred and Frida Gunder bursary uh, they was awarded. We have several had several applicants. Uh, the three recipients will be Sharon McClare. Tyson uh, Sabi and Lindsay Voltner. So congratulations to them. I know the committee spends a lot of time uh, looking at the applications and it's a very difficult task for them. Uh, we moved to take title to two properties through tax recovery and that was approved. We entered into a lease agreement with the Hand Learning Center, a uh, property that we acquired um, on Main Street, the former Tim L uh, building and uh, that's going to be transformed into a local business hub and uh, just just keep your eyes open for more news on that that's going to be an exciting project that we're doing there uh, we also authorized the sale of some uh, disposable assets uh, a 1979 tandem gravel truck that we have no more use for and with uh, we had added two new bylaws um, kind of on recommendation from the municipal government uh, um, administration uh, regarding uh, our council procedural bylaw and our designated officer bylaw and uh, it was a very busy night we also had our organizational meeting and we have uh, appointed uh, the councillors and several members of our of our community to various organizations and committees and I do want to know that some of those positions are not filled and uh, anybody who's interested in sitting on a board or committee uh, it's a great way to, to really help your community out you can come and see uh, the town office or look on the website we do have some information on that there so with that that is the uh, update from October 9th 2019